hi my loves welcome back to my channel um i'm gonna jump right into this video as always i know y'all asked me to keep the cosmetology content coming so y'all wish is my command okay so we are on the floor y'all i was i was so excited to get on the floor but i'm gonna just talk y'all through that what that looks like so paul mitchell breaks up their 1500 hours into different phases so the first stage is core which i talked about a lot in my last video where you learn all the basic foundations of hair and you do a lot of reading demonstrations all of that the second stage which i am in right now when you get on the floor is called adaptive so it's a little bit more independent working but you basically go on everything that you learn in core a little bit more in depth and you're also able to take clients now so you get to work in a real life salon environment adaptive which you're basically adapting to being in a salon environment and the last stage is called creative which um you're even more independent at this stage you coming in you knowing already what you need to work on what you need to do what you need to get out the way finish credits and at this stage you also prepare for a state board they do a lot of state board preparation um everything like that and you're also able to join what they call phase two so phase two is you work in a salon like environment all day long they have a special role for you you just take clients all day long and it's not a requirement it's just something that if you feel like you want to do or be a part of you inquire about that so right now like i said i am in adaptive and we go on a rotating schedule every single week so we go through texture cutting and coloring and it rotates so we do a week a week of texture which is basically natural hairstyles what i'm doing now and then a week of coloring and a week of cutting so now this week we're working on texture and they had us going over round brushing they do a lot of round brush demos at paul mitchell um they say depending on what mark you in it's a lot of money in it so we were doing a lot of round brush demos this week so this is just basically what I'm doing to my mannequin, um, getting her together. And I did my pre-dry, which I started doing at the beginning of this video, a pre-dry directional where you just um, wet the hair completely and you dry the roots and then you go with the bro dryer and the blush to dry the ends and create your style. So this is how my first curl turned out. And I definitely am noticing that the more practicing I'm doing, the better and better that um, my work is getting. So this is me doing half a head of round brushes. So this is straight blow dryer and round brush work. And I want to tell y'all now too, adaptive is way more fast paced than sitting inside the core classroom. Because at the start of this assignment, we had to wash the hair and start the blow dry and do the round brush before we had got sent off to lunch and that part of that video was all i had completed before it was time to go off on lunch so i still got my credits for the day but at that point you were supposed to be already finished with the round brush because when we come back from lunch, we have to wash the mannequin again to do something different to get a different credit. So right now I am on lunch and I just had a wig on and I just threw a hat on top of it because um, and Paul Mitchell, they only let you do personal services on Tuesdays. And this was a Monday, but I really wanted somebody to wash and blow dry my hair. So I had to wait until lunch to do that because you can get in trouble if you perform in personal services and it's not personal service day unless it's authorized and you're getting a credit for doing the actual service. So this is just me taking down my hair and I had my classmate Leah washing my hair for me. We do get an hour lunch, so they let us go on lunch for 30 minutes. And then for the last 30 minutes, we supposed to come back in and basically like just relax for the last 30 minutes. But today I didn't take no lunch because I wanted my hair done. And yeah, I had an hour to do it. Since y'all about to get a mini lock tutorial that y'all didn't ask for, I did want to go ahead and give y'all some free game. Do not just get your knowledge from your instructors because it's a million ways to do everything. And I'm telling y'all now, some of y'all classmates are at this school for a reason. They do something and they do something well and that's why they pursuing a license. So if you see somebody that's doing something and they do it well and you want to do it or you want to learn how to do it, 
ask them how they do it because nine times out of ten they're gonna be receptive to give you information y'all i've been at this palm mission for a while and i can't speak for everybody everywhere but i do know that if i ask anybody random in this school a question nine times out of ten they're gonna answer it for me so just be as proactive as you can and just soak up and filter out as much as you can while you can because you leave school and get in the streets it's gonna be five hundred dollars for a book a seminar a class y'all already know Girl, see what the hurt is all natural, it's hers, yeah. and she got edges. Okay, you okay, <laughs> the, the nice one, the nice one. <laughs> she got a good grade of hair, y'all. Okay, you know, she she in a fine, fine curly. Yeah, yeah, so too. What do y'all got on me? I don't even know. Teach y'all how to uh, yeah, properly. Mm, I sure want to learn. It ain't hard to understand. No, no, you can, um. But um, just excuse my hair because yeah, it got it's cool, it's like got cap head and all that other stuff. But um, see this? Like most of the time, people be wanting to party, like correct my party stuff, mm -hmm. like my cousin. But I don't really part like because I don't even hear from no style. Right. But you just do it like that. Just literally twisting. It. Just twisting it and then you clamp it. What you put on it? Just the like lock and twist. Um, it? sometimes I use the lock and twist, or I use coconut like. I'm not a big fan of uh, product because it gives you build up. Mm. But um, they just certain uh, stuff, so I use coconut oil, olive oil, you know, okay. stuff like that. Cause I like my hair to smell good, and mm -hmm. I use essential oils like tea tree mm -hmm. and just dot it in there. So I thought I was done detangling my hair. Leah had washed it and blow dried it for me. And y'all finna see in a second, everybody was already back in class doing their work. Please do not be like me and do your work and get your credits because I'm so focused on my hair and everybody else around me working like I just don't have to work for nothing. But please don't be like me and do your work, okay? But I'm on my way to school, got my kit, and I got my makeup kit. One of my classmates want to do my makeup today, so she be doing makeup, so. And I got my coffee. So Tuesday, which is also personal service, they started off with Dallas giving us a round brush tutorial because it still is texture week. And if you're not performing a service, you still get a credit for the class. When you're at this base, you shake a little bit and you only use your fingers. And while you're round brushing, you should see silver on both sides of your round brush. Both sides. The reason why I'm shaking a little bit is because I don't want to burn my client. When you know you're ready to move on, it looks like that. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to move that because now it's set. And I feel like I keep saying this, but y'all, I just feel like I can't stress it enough. Get your money's worth from Paul Mitchell. Do not come to this school feeling like you know everything or any cosmetology school. Soak up everything you can from everybody. Like, go to all the guest artists. Go to all the classes. Pay attention to all the demos because you never know. I learn something new every time. And you never know if you'll find out what technique will help you or make you better. Just make sure y'all paying attention and soaking up all the food game. when I take this out, I'm going to take it out like this, as such, and there, okay? I'm mean, going to... So after the demo, we had a clap out and everybody in the school is required to go to every clap out. And a clap out is basically when a student completes their 1500 hours and they graduate and everyone in the school comes together to celebrate and to clap them out. So I'm going to show y'all these beautiful curls first and then we're going to go to the clap out. Look at these like he snapped and some people even charge over 100, 150 for just this blowout service. And this is what a clap out graduation looks like. So after the clap out, we went back to the floor and this is why I kind of hesitated about being on the floor because one thing about it, it is very unstructured. 
well, I'm going to say it's less structured than being in the classroom because um, some days it's just very disorganized. Um, they had set the wax pot out, but it wasn't a learning leader over there to be telling everybody who walked up to use it the proper way to do it. So we were kind of over there clustered together trying to teach each other and still do it on ourselves. Even though we have the tools to look it up, it's just better to have, for me, how I learn somebody tell me what to do if you get what I'm saying. So in this aspect, I just wish it was a little bit more organized. Oh, oh. hey, you too. <laughs> at Paul Mitchell it's always a group of students that do distance learning on different days our day to do distance learning is on Wednesday so Wednesday we don't go into the school this is when we do all of our online assignments so y'all it's not just on the floor work you actually have real life work real life reading to do real life assignments you have to watch videos and at the end of every day whatever day your theory day is which is what our distance learning is called whatever day your theory is you have until 11 59 to take your chapter exam exam so you have to read the chapter do all of the assignments and take your exam within that day you can do it earlier if you want to but if you do it while you're on a zoom call which you have to be on a zoom call the whole entire time from the time you clock in on distance from the time you clock out on distance you have to be on your zoom and just to let y'all know y'all do actually have to do the assignments because they are able to monitor how much you've done within that day. And if they see that you haven't done any assignments, but even though you were clocked in for the whole eight hours, they will literally go back in and take time off your time sheet. So just do the work, y'all. Just do what you got to do and just get it over with. Because it still has to get done before you graduate. So my group is only in school Monday through Thursday. So today was our last day um, of school for the week. So we came in that morning and our instructor had demoed us how to do a roller set. So we grabbed our roller sets and then we all just started doing it until it was time to go to lunch. Um, we had put our mannequin under the dryer before we went to lunch and after we got back from lunch, that's when we um, undid our roller set. So I'll just let y'all... <music>
this is actually a new week, which is cutting week. And I basically just recorded this just so y'all can see how the rotations go. Because like I told y'all, we have a week of texture, a week of color, and a week of cutting. And since this was the week of cutting, we were cutting a um, one length bob. And um, I'll just walk y'all through how that looks and how mine came out. And this will be the end of the video. And I will see y'all next time. And I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and turn on y'all bill post notifications if y'all want to get more videos like this or leave in the comments what videos y'all want to see. Bye. See y'all next time.